before I found out I had kidney disease, I had no idea what kidney disease was about. I knew zilch. Absolutely nothing. But I can tell you, why am I educated now? Most of the patients that uh, we see in our practice are people who have either been giving us an inkling of some sort that they have kidney disease or have noticed something going wrong. We start early on with the discussion that this could end up in the result of, of losing your kidney function, which is, can imagine, a very life-changing event. A year ago, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, and with that came kidney failure. So I was in the hospital um, when they first started doing the dialysis. That was all very dramatic, um, but the sinking in of like, like my kidneys aren't coming back. My, I'm, I don't have any choice but to do dialysis. And on the one hand, that's very magical. We've got these machines that can do for me and hundreds and thousands of other people, you know, what, what dialysis does. It, it's very amazing. And then it's, at this, on the other hand, it's like very like, wow, this really sucks. The most important thing, I think, is to appreciate how this disease affects the lives of the patients we take care of. These people are the most heroic individuals I've ever met. I'm on dialysis five hours, three times a week. I come Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's an exhausting process. You're very, very, very worn out. You can't stand very long. It feels like you just ran 25,000 miles on one leg. I mean, this is a life-threatening disease. This requires an incredible strength on their part and an incredible commitment. They really, these are people who want to live. And I'm just amazed about the attitudes being positive and hopeful and courageous as they go through it, their experiences. It is something that you're committed to for the rest of your life. So, make the best of it. And here she is. This is Helga. My dialysis machine's name is Helga, and she sits on the nightstand beside my bed. I remember when I first met Bob, he had had a series of medical problems that led up to his developing kidney disease. So he was uh, on dialysis in the kidney center for about six months and said, do I really have to come here to get my treatments? So we explored with him at that point um, the options of going home, and peritoneal dialysis was the optimum therapy for him, and he's certainly done very well with it. Hello, Maurice. How are you doing? Treatment's going okay? Good, okay. Here, take easy, okay? One of my roles as a medical director is to help instill in the staff, as best I can, the importance of treating each of these people like the person we love most in the world. If we think of each patient as someone we care about, how can we help but treat them in the best way possible? I just think they're really nice. I think that they're really decent human beings and you know, I feel really lucky and I feel really appreciative for just how kind and decent and careful that everybody is there. That's what the kidney center is here for. It's here to support these people, to allow them to live their lives in the way that they wish and for those that are able to move on to transplantation and return to a, a normal life from a life-threatening illness and that is the best of what we do.